because of a riot, because of a burning of tire, you have killed more than 45 people. Do I need to have been in Iluero to know how many you killed when you faced armed people? In one day, you've shot and killed 60. Because they are rioting, you are shooting in arcades, you are shooting uh, uh, people who are traveling in taxis. I do not have to have been in Iluero to know when you are faced with the armed people, how you behave. Because the examples are there. What you did in northern Uganda, burn, uh, burying people alive in Burucho, roasting people in Mukura, killing people here during the Uganda riots. Everywhere you have been, we know how you have behaved. You can parade yourself as a patriot, uh, as someone who cares about Uganda. That self-entitlement, because you fought in Uero, so you set the standards and everybody must abide by them. So the public must judge them, you are not judge them. The day you will discover that uh, other people have a stake in this country and you begin treating them with courtesy and respect, it is the day when we will have peaceful elections. Because the players can change. Yesterday it was uh, basically the other day you were confronting the Kabak of Uganda, the other day you were in Kasese massacring people. Ask yourself, why you? You are the one killing in Kasese, killing in Teso, in Mukura, killing in Achori, killing in Uganda. So all these other people don't care about Uganda, they are not patriots. It is, uh, is Tumwine who is a patriot. You are in Ruero, killing. Until that violence has got out of your head, this country is in trouble. You see, for Ghana now, to begin enjoying the peace that they have. J. Rawlings, who was loading people in helicopters and throwing them in ocean, until it, it, it dawned on him that to have a country, you need to do the following. Look at what Kenya is doing, all, all, with all their problems. Uri Nyata says, no, no, no. If you keep one part of the country dissatisfied, that country may explode one day. And that's why this section of society should also have uh, an opportunity to lead Kenya. For them, this is like a... And the reason I say the... And, and I saw Margaret Mohanga. I don't want to take responsibility for her ignorance of what I said. I said, look at the root causes. Before COVID came, were you allowing people to enjoy themselves? Did you allow aspiring presidential candidates to go and consult as the... the Presidential Elections Act says, did you allow them? Tumukunde was beaten. Chagulanyi was beaten. And that's why I said to you, COVID was God the same. Because now you can wave it at our face. In the past, who did you allow? Even MPs, you remember? At one time, they say two MPs cannot address a rally in, constitu in another constituency. Because they think Uganda is their parents' estate. They must determine how other people live in it. You can continue because today you carry a gun. And the mentality of all the African people who carry guns is that the country now belongs to them. They will determine how others enjoy. And I have seen uh, Margaret, of course not surprising. Uh, I have had Tumwini, of course also not surprising, who think they have a higher stake in Uganda. Uh, other people are agents of... of, of of, of provocateur, they are, they are the ones disturbing peace because policemen, you have no justification to win, to kill a person uh, who has come to Kampala to check on his children. You have no justification to shoot at people traveling in a taxi, even if there is a riot. You don't have that justification to shoot at children who have, children who have died. People are collecting bodies, they have fresh graves in, in their compound. You have no justification. You must treat people with, with remorse. People are, are bleeding, they are crying. You've killed their loved ones. What is the difference between you and the past government that you want to fight in the world? They had the similar justification. We are fighting rebels, they are fighting you. So if you continue rationalizing killing, then you have no reason to blame Obote, who was fighting an armed rebellion in the world. Because if you, I mean, I just imagine if it were you first with an armed rebellion, of course, when you are first one, we've seen what you do. You went to Kasese, mold down everybody. You did the same thing in, in Burucho, in Achori. Roasted people in wagons in, in, in Teso. We cannot have peaceful election the moment you compete people who have uh, made violence, they are trade.
and you can hear the way Tumwini speaks, as if Uganda belongs to him, is doing people, any other person a favor. The security people you are talking about, they are working on your orders. You are the one who put them on the street to go and begin shooting. Riots have taken place in America, they have taken place in other countries. They don't respond to riots the way you responded to this particular riot. That you go shooting randomly, you beat journalists, you, you, you shoot at schools, you shoot. This has to stop if you want to have a country. Today, you are the one carrying guns. I don't know who will be carrying guns tomorrow. When nobody had guns, he thought he had the monopoly of, of these guns. The, the same mentality that you have. If, if you don't want elections, you don't organize them. Just announce that there will be no elections in Uganda. And then you will have no candidates. The moment you nominate candidates, even the COVID you are talking about, uh, Charles, I was telling someone, giving someone a very simple example. The way Ugandans are the same, you will find someone selling drugs in Kampala and he has uh, 300 people who have collected around him. Because, and, and Margaret says, uh, lack of jobs is not a serious matter. I don't know where she lives. She lives in heaven, where if you don't have a job, it's not a serious matter. In other countries, in Sudan, Sudan went up in flames because of the price of, of bread. And that's what removed the Al-Bashir, because people couldn't afford a meal. So therefore, the totality of, 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 of people who speak for this government, um, of, of the planners, of, of the mothers in Kampala, if if that mentality of a strong man does not stop, of, of, of might is right, I have a gun, and therefore I'll shoot you. Uh, policemen have a right to shoot you because you are, you, you are about to also to, to kill them. If, that, if we don't find, fight that mentality, we don't have a country, and it does not matter how long it will take, and it doesn't have to be me. In 1980, it is Dr. Semogel whose victory was stolen. Museven, who had lost an election in Mbarara, was the first to go to the world to fight. Mm -hmm. The statements I make here do not in any way suggest I will be the first to go and pick a gun and, and, and maybe cause violence. We all only care because we all live in this place called Uganda. If we organize the elections, we must also be prepared to lose them. But you organize an election that you must win at all costs. You must determine how people compete against you. You must keep everybody at gunpoint. And you must keep reminding them of how powerful you are, how you can shoot them, how you can end their lives. Please, you can continue ending lives. Even Gaddafi, who had told people he's going to spray them as insects, those insects never died. It is him who had the spray that died. You must change the language to Mwine. Because for you now, you have grown, you are an elder. You can't speak like a Mwine who went to the world to fight. You are an elder now. Stop speaking like a, an iron fisted man who thinks uh, the world owes you. It does not. This country belongs to all of us. You must make it comfortable to everybody. The moment you begin hardening us like cows, you will, you will not know when and who will make an explosion. God made a very good point. Ask yourself, why do these things keep occurring? Is it because Semuju is appearing on UBC? The other day, you were shooting at people protesting because you have stopped the Kawako of Uganda from traveling, from enjoying in his own territory. You were in Kasese massacring people and you are saying they had guns. You are in Burucho burying people alive because there is a war you are executing in northern Uganda. You are in Mukura roasting people in wagon because there is a rebellion. Ask yourself, this anger, how do we deal with it? Do we deal with it by shooting at people? So when they fall silence for you, that is a victory. Now we have finished. You have seen him celebrating. After three days, we finished, and he's very two happy. Days. Yeah, two days. You finished after shooting people. They are still burying. They are very happy with you. You've said the public will judge. Same the public is judging you. That after hundred, I mean, tens of people are dead for you. Are you saying in two days we had finished? We had finished. Thank you for finishing in two days. General, you want to respond to that? Um, one of the things he mentioned mm. is, uh, Gobi, sorry, uh, I thought General should respond to those, those uh, direct uh, uh, references. One of the things he mentions, he refers to, is Mukura, which was a very unfortunate um, landmark in the 
I, I mean Mark in the in your in your in your CV uh, as liberators, and the president came out to to, to <coughs> apologize about them. Do you, at, at, as a senior as a senior leader in the military, but also in government, do you want to? Do you at least regret what happened, especially to the loss of innocent lives last week? Yes, well, yes, you well, can have it. Really, really I, I find that uh, question very interesting. First of all,